When a, a new or prospective family comes into the community, I first want them to get that, you know, this is home that it has that welcoming environment. And we can provide that by being their family away from family. One thing about Civitas Communities is that we keep our buildings not just clean, but we also try to promote that, hey, this is home for the residents. When a guest first walks in, we really want them to feel the love and passion that we have at our communities. It's important to show residents living their lives, and that's what we try and do. I've got a pass. It's really important to us that the residents that live here um, feel that this is their home and they have everything they need at their disposal. There's people in the dining room, there's gardening in the courtyard. And those are things that happen every day and we want to make sure people see that and feel that when they come into the community. The Passion Program is something that we've designed to re-engage the staff. It's kind of like our activities program, but it's, it's a whole lot more. It's kind of all-encompassing with all departments. And it meets, you know, all of the spiritual, recreational, educational facets of really what an activities program would be. The passion program, it's passionate service, passionate cleanliness, and passionate care. Uh, service being the things that we do for residents and how we can do for each other. The cleanliness, it, we make it a priority to keep the community clean. It not only looks good when people come in, but also makes people feel good whenever a residence room is clean, you feel better about yourself. And then passionate care is the care that we give towards the residents, being open and being able to go all in with care and making residents feel comfortable that whatever their situation is in life, that there's people here on staff that not only care about them, but are able to give them the proper treatment or proper care that they need. The dining experience is something that all of the staff participates in. It is designed to be like a family-like atmosphere uh, where we're serving nutritious, healthy, balanced meals. A lot of the, the meals that we do serve are resident choice. So with my signature dish, that's something that the residents have voted upon to see what they would like to eat on a weekly basis. Every table has, you know, their unique dynamics and personality. So meal times are really fun. My birthday program, whatever they want to eat for their birthday meal, that's what we're going to make for them or we'll get for them. Uh, we also encourage them to invite their family members in to be part of the celebration. It's just a way of recognizing that it is their special day and we acknowledge it in our family. As a new person coming into an environment with over 80 plus residents, it's kind of intimidating to, to come and not know anyone. Well, my resident ambassadors are specifically designed to meet with those uh, newest residents and get them to come to different activities. They kind of show the lay of the land of the community and how our day-to-day -day life happens here. It's getting to know people and I enjoy visiting with them. Where did you grow up? And, and talking about their families. It's just, a, it's a blessing to make them feel welcome here when they're brand new. The Miracle Moment program, it's more of one of those you know, wildest dreams type of experiences for, for all of the residents. And we always try to incorporate the entire building, the, the staff, um, along with the resident and their family in those miracle moments. Well, thanks for inviting us. Uh, I'm gonna be the narrator because I've got the loudest voice. This, uh, this method of using the wing, what you would do is you would either put it on, on fishing line. Well, I'm very surprised and I don't know, didn't know this was gonna happen. And uh, I'm, I'm very thankful. They brought two bird dogs, and they, they had the feather on the string just like I had. The dogs went to it and pointed, and uh, <clears throat> it, was, it was really interesting to see. They did it just like I did it. To have that opportunity to help a resident, you know, have a miracle moment, something that they've dreamed about doing, and having to move into a community is always stressful, so this is something very enjoyable and wonderful for them. Looking at other communities, you look at some communities and you don't get a warm feeling, or you might walk into another community and it might feel like an institution. But the one thing about all the Civitas communities is when you walk in, it feels personal. It feels like there's a home touch in the environment. And that's why it's important to us at Civitas that, that the residents 
feel this when they come in the community and have these amenities at their disposal. It, it illustrates the, the customer service and, and care that we provide in all of our communities. The Kachi Caring Program is where any staff member, whether it be a department manager or a line staff member, if they want to recognize someone for going above and beyond uh, their normal job duties, that's a way to recognize them. We tally all of those Kachi Caring cards up at the end of the month, and whoever has the most will actually get Employee of the Month, which has, you know, its own benefits as well. Anyone can fill out a Kachi Caring card, uh, whether it be a family member, a resident, um, a staff member, or someone from the management team. Well, the Train the Trainer program is to give you the necessary tools so that you can grow your career with us here at Civitas, so that you feel like you're part of the team, that you're passionate about the service that you're providing for not only the residents, but your fellow teammates. So the Silver and the Gold program, the Train the Trainer program, the Passion program in general is done with that in mind. It means so much to me to be able to do the Train the Trainer program because it allows me to get closer to the residents and their family. It allows me to show the passion that I have and it allows me to also teach the passion and to show others how important it is to not only be a caregiver but to be a part of somebody's family, to be a part of a team. We often go in and spend time with them uh, monthly to make sure that they have all the tools and resources that they need. It ensures that our staff is the most knowledgeable that they can be to provide the best care for our residents. Dear Lord, thank you so much for being here today. With Civitas, the thing that has stuck out to me with them is the passion that you see in the corporate staff. There is a passion in them for it, and it's not just, it's a lifestyle for them. It's not just a job. So at Civitas, passion is contagious. You're not only an employee there, you're part of the family, you're part of the team. I believe the sky's the limit for Civitas.